This is my mother's father, a stepmother. Now this is the she left when they uh, they because it would see there were two not unusual that a mother died and then the father remarried. So that they, she had these half brothers and sisters. This is half brother and half sister. Now he of course was really the, almost the same age as my brother, you know, because there was such a age difference. And the reason I find this so interesting is it tells you what happened. Look at them and look at them. This is a parents and children. Does that look like just one generation? That shows you what happened. This is Nastasha, around 1929, because uh, he was leaving for America, Canada. Unfortunately, she didn't. She died. She had three children, a husband. They were killed. Everybody in Stasha was killed. Well, not everybody, but uh, most of them. <clears throat> those who were left, I should say. Those who could get away got away, and those who were left were all killed. So, there, I mean, so that is the change that took even already in Europe. This is what my parents came from. Now, if they had cha the changes here, Think of the changes in the United States of me and my brothers. Of course, my parents weren't like this. These are their parents. And my father never, ever was dressed like this, even in Europe. Mm -hmm. He never was dressed like this. And my mother certainly wasn't dressed like this. Did he dress like the boy in that, that picture? My father yeah. always wore Western clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did not wear... He told, he, he, he made a point of that, of telling us, not a point, I mean, it was in part of, in telling the stories that when he went to Stashid, before or after he got married, whatever, he had to get a capote because to walk into Stashid in Western clothes, I mean, his father-in-law would have been, so you see the changes. So I always say, you know, when, uh, that they went from, I don't know, three generations. I went five generations from that, you know. <laughs>